So here comes Accenture coding questions. So in this session, we are going to solve at least three coding questions which were asked in the latest Accenture slots. So first one, maxima or minima code, decrypt, decryption of characters, and also inverting words. So these three are were asked in the latest uh, slots. And also second thing is the, the coding round will be conducted to those who cleared the cognitive round conducted by Accenture, which is of uh, 90 minutes, 90 questions. So if you clear that within five minutes, you will be receiving the link to attend coding assessment. Now let's start today's video. And here comes the maximum minimum code. So before getting to the right logic, let me tell you one thing. If you are new to our channel, just uh, refer to our previous video, videos where we have uploaded several videos related to aptitude, verbal ability, pseudocodes, coding questions, and in, uh, reasoning ability and several other videos complete uh, focuses on Accenture not only Accenture other MNCs like uh, uh, proteases are also uploaded just refer to those and here comes a question where we are simply given three values those are a b c the coefficients of a quadratic equation any quadratic equation we take the standard form of a quadratic equation is a x square plus b x plus c now we should be uh, finding we should implement a function uh, to find the maximum or minimum value maximum or minimum value will be depending on the sign of a so if you observe the sample test case one here three inputs a b c are given one two three and the output is zero so here zero is the minimum value because a is greater than zero this is a b c right so a is positive if a is positive the quadratic equation will be having a minimum value like uh, any quadratic equation if you take so let me consider where a greater than zero if a greater than 0, the equation will be looking like this. We will be having two roots and one minimum value. This is the minimum value. So here a is greater than 0. In case if, if we draw a graph for where a greater than 0, sorry, a less than 0, we will be having maximum value. This is maximum and this is minimum depending upon the sign of A. Now, if you look at the uh, second test case, I will be explaining the logic to write a code. And here comes the second test case where we are having A, B, C values. A x square plus B x plus C is the standard form. Let me substitute these values. Minus 2 x square minus A x x plus 10 is the equation we are having right now. So we should be finding a maximum or minimum value. Hence, uh, like uh, as A is less than 0, we will be having the maximum value, which is given as the output so 18 is output maximum value so how do we get it so let's discuss a little mathematics here for any equation to have the maximum or minimum so the derivative or differentiation on differentiation it should give zero so d by dx of ax square plus bx plus c will give us 2ax plus b equals zero so exactly at x equals minus b by 2a so at this point we will be having the maximum value that is 18 so if we substitute x equals minus b by 2a in this, in any equation we get the maximum or minimum respective so here if we observe minus b by 2a let me substitute minus 8 by minus 4 we get 2 so on substituting x equals 2 in the above equation we get sorry it's not plus 2 it, uh, it will be minus 2 because minus b by 2a so we get it as uh, minus 2 so if we substitute here, we get minus 2 into 4, we get 8 minus 8 plus 16 plus 10. We get 26 minus 8, which will be 18 is the maximum value. I got it. So how can I execute it? Like, and how can I code it? In order to code it, our logic will be simply I will be returning. I will be return a x square plus b x plus c, right? So I will be substituting x equals minus b by 2a in this equation. Let's see what we will get. So we get b square by 4a on substituting the value of x as x equal minus b by 2a in this equation we get. So this is the equation on substituting we get b square by 4a minus b by 2a plus c. On simplifying further we get b square by 4a plus c. Sorry, minus b square by 4a plus c. So this is the final output. So simply I am writing a code and returning minus b square by 4a plus c. 
so i hope this will be very easy the easiest logic provided if you know the mathematics basics so now let's start coding so guys this is the same code which we have discussed so far like uh, this is how it was asked in the exam like a quadratic equation uh, coefficients are given a b c and the output is zero like which is a maximum value sorry minimum value for this for these values given values so all we need to do is simply write a function like implement a function so even the arguments are given a b c are taken as arguments and this is the function name so and also i forgot to tell you one thing guys so both instagram link and telegram link are given in the uh, description box so you guys go and join those group like uh, we'll be sharing some other useful content also instagram and uh, telegram groups so here comes the code guys so this is the function we are supposed to write it in the exam like in the assessment this part is already given in the test like a compiler i mean this is the main method so where input is taken and the function is called so this is in the main method so we should only implement this function so i i already told you guys this is the simplest question because if only if you know the mathematics basic you can write it like finish this code in one line so i am simply showing you guys one line code it is so simply i am initializing the result and uh, assigning minus b square by 4a plus c value to it so the most explanation part is done in the question itself so there is nothing much to dis uh, like uh, discuss here i think and one thing here to focus is uh, this operator where it will return integer so instead if you use uh, like uh, this operator it will return a float so that, that's uh, all for this question and moving on here comes uh, the second one character de decryption code so even this is very straight forward like uh, simply we are given a string input string is given and the output uh, string should be written and they follow a pattern so simply input is given we should uh, print the output the output should be printed in such a way that each of these characters should be decrypted so this code is in uh, some encrypted form so we are decrypting into this so what is the pattern followed means so a is replaced by z b is replaced by y c by x and successively y is replaced by b and z by a so if we write the logic if we write the logic so x y z so a is being replaced by z w x y z a b c so this is how the relation is very direct right simply uh, the order is being reversed the first alphabet is becoming the last alphabet second alphabet is uh, becoming the last but second al alphabet and successively it's uh, continuing so but how to write a uh, like a coding logic to this question and moving on here comes the second test case where the input is v m x and b k some string is given and the output is encryption so it is it has followed the same pattern where v is replaced by e m m by n x by c and so on so now let's uh, discuss uh, coding logic here which we will be following so if we given a if we give a string abc as input we are getting z by x z by x as a result so single line the coding logic of uh, this code is simple we will be returning for every character we will return 122 minus the ascii value of the given character plus the ascii value of first character 97 so this is the ascii value of z and this is the ascii value of a so every time for a given string uh, this character uh, gets changed this is the variable here and these two values are always fixed so we should add the first and last characters the ascii values of the alphabet 122 and 97 minus subtracted with the present uh, present character ascii and we should return in python we will be having one function chr chr of any number gives the respective variable of that ascii for example chr of 97 gives us a in this way so this is the logic single line logic so if we substitute let us substitute these uh, characters at once one at a time a for a for b and for c so for a if i substitute the logic is character of 122 minus i will be a here so 
ASCII of A is 97 plus 97. So the output is 122, which is nothing but Z. For B, 122 minus 98 plus 97. So the output is 123, which is nothing but Y. For C, 122 minus 99 plus 97, which will be 124, which is the uh, same as ASCII of C. Now let's uh, code it in Python language, the same logic. So here comes the code. I have already discussed the logic with you guys. So if you observe the same code here, it is the main function where the input is taken as a string and the function is called. So the function is once the function is called, so we are directly implementing the logic here. So I just initialized result to empty string. Result is an empty string. And for each character in the given string, for i in s is nothing but for each character i in the given string s. So result is nothing but result is appended every time for the respective character. So another character of 122 minus i, uh, like uh, ASCII of i plus 97. So simply it's giving, if, suppose that if string is a, b, c, d, e, for a, it is appending result equals to a and then for the next time when uh, second character runs, so for a it is uh, getting z and then it becomes z, y, then z, y, x, z, y, x, w, v. In this way, so the string is getting appended. I hope the logic is very clear enough guys. So this is the code executed in Python, even you can execute it. And here comes the last question for this session. I think uh, we can say this is the easiest question in our session because so simply here we are given an input string. So we should return the output sentence like input is a sentence which is nothing but a string. So output is also a sentence but all the words are reversed like uh, the first word will be first like uh, the position of words is not changed but the characters are written reversed. So here the by run the is reversed boy is also reversed and run is also reversed. That's it. So how, how can we proceed here? So our input will be given as a string input. So we should write a function. Uh, we should just write a function. The right logic here is nothing but simply we should first of all convert the given string into list. String should be uh, converted into list using dot split. So using split uh, and passing nothing in the split is nothing but uh, passing as a space. So nothing but the boy run. This is a string. So if we convert it into a list using split, it becomes a list in which the is one item, boy is a thing, one item and run will be other item. And finally, I'll be simply returning the output as for each item in for each item in list for i in list, I'll print i equals i of minus. So nothing guys, simply I'm taking the string input, I'm converting the given string into the list. So hence the string will be converted into the list where each of the words will be the items of the list. And then I'll simply print, print each word in the reverse order. So that's the logic for today. So here comes the code executed in Python again. So the main function, so once the main is calling the function invert in same order, so we are supposed to implement this function, this part of the code. So if we clearly observe, the string is passed initially, the argument is given as a string. So S, is, S will be a string. So S is a string. And then I am converting string into a list where each item in the each item of the list will be the individual words. Like here, she is cute. So initially she is cute is a string. But then I am converting this string into a list where each of the word becomes a list item. And once we got the list items, it's very easy to reverse the words like uh, for each, uh, for i in s, nothing but for each item in the list. I am just printing i in the reverse order. i equals, this is called the uh, indexing. So this technique is called indexing, which is nothing but i of is to is to minus one. This will return a sequence or a series in reverse order like whether it may be a list or a string so this is used to get the reverse order 
so that's how it is guys and this is to be focused here so end equals to i'm just uh, uh, giving a empty space this is nothing but if i skip this part so i'll give i'll be getting my output as this way so so in different lines i'll be getting each word in new line so in order to avoid a new line in python we use end equals to like uh, some empty space so it is uh, the new line instead of new line i am just giving a space so that's how, that's how it is i hope uh, most of it is uh, being discussed so that's it for today guys uh, hope uh, all of you guys uh, will clear all the test cases in your codes and definitely you guys will get selected for the communication round so all the best all the best guys bye